All right, guys, Garage Highway's back with you. Uh, I'm just going to be making a quick little vid tonight. It's not going to be nothing exciting. Just going to be all down to the details of how to do this. So I'm going to be installing Mega Squirt uh, this week, hopefully. And for Mega Squirt, when you order it, they're going to give you this option to buy the sensor, and you want to buy the sensor, the IAT Idle Air or Idle Air Temperature Sensor. I'm pretty sure it's this, and <coughs> comes in a little package with all. You got to build it all yourself and set up the wires. But this is just one of them very important steps that you don't want to forget because the mass airflow sensor you want to delete when you run turbo. You don't have to, but you want to, you know. So we're going to be doing that uh, tonight. Uh, I don't think there's going to be anything else. I've just ordered my boost gauge and all that, so I might be pulling the dash part a little bit. But anyways, let's get started. Okay, so here's what they give you. This is what you're going to use to plug into the mass airflow sensor. There's the IAT itself. There's the bung, which you either get welded in since it's aluminum. I'm probably not going to get it welded in. I'll just JB weld it, which is fine. These right here are what you got to hook up to the wire they give you that's going to go through this. And you, you got to build it all yourself. So anyways, <coughs> you want to run it right before the throttle body. That's very important, like right before, like right here. I think I'm going to be getting mine mounted like right here on to the side. And then I'm going to run the wires across through my wire loom to the mass airflow sensor. So I'm going to take my intercooler and pipe it off. I'm going to mark my hole first. Then I'm going to drill out the hole, test fit the bung, and then probably tomorrow or later tonight, JV weld it. And then screw this in, and I'll show you how you have to hook up these and wire crimp them and strip the wire. So let's get started on taking the intercooler piping apart, mark our hole and drill the hole and we'll go from there. All right guys, so I just got my hose clamps undone. So you just wanna pull your intercooler piping right off. I already got it marked with a little scratch. You know, it's not the proper way to do it, but it'll be okay. So I'm gonna have to get my drill out and I know I do not have a drill the size of this bung. So I'm gonna have to do it the improper way and kind of move the drill around to open up the hole, which I already did for my idle control valve, which is another important thing, guys. So right here, it's kind of hard for you guys to see, but it's your idle control valve, which is on your intake, it hooks up to this little piece. And that's very important. You can either run it out and into here like I'm doing uh, with the IAT, or what I did, and I've seen many people do, they run a hose and drill and tap into before the turbo because the turbo is technically giving it vacuum and my engine runs fine which I probably should have I can still start and show you guys but uh it was running good with the mass airflow like this all plugged up it was fine but I just want to get rid of the mass airflow completely and that's why I'm doing the IAT so I got my hole marked I'm gonna get my drill out and I'm gonna drill the hole and we'll put this in and I'll be right back Okay, so after you get your bung in there, I mean, obviously mine isn't welded or nothing yet. I'm going to run JB weld around it. But um, you're going to have your center, which obviously with that Allen key bolt out would screw into there. So we need to build the thing, the wire they gave you. So two wires are going to run over to the mass airflow center. So the wires they supply you, you're going to want to cut in half. And then these right here are what, they give you three, but you only use two. They think they just give you an extra one. So this is what plugs into the mass airflow sensor right here. So basically you wanna strip the end of your wire and you're gonna place it right down in there like that after it's stripped, because right now obviously there's no connection. Don't forget to strip the wire and then you crimp it down with pliers. Okay, for the other side, right here is your plug, which plugs into the back of this and there's no prongs or nothing in there. So what you do, so let me put my camera down real quick, I'll be right there. So you just push the wire right through, not, shouldn't be hard, just a little bit of resistance, have it sticking out like that. And then you take these little prongs right here. I'll have the camera focus so you guys can see. So you take that and just like that, you crimp it right onto there and then you pull it back up the plug, pretend it was clipped on there, you just you got one hand, you just pull it right back up in there, and then bam, that would plug right into there, 
which will plug right inside there and then you screw it into there and I'll show you later where to plug it in on your mass airflow sensor. So let me build this real quick and I'll be right back. So I just want to give you guys a little rundown real quick. So I just stripped this wire right here. So you're going to take this tiny piece, which is what plugs into your mass airflow sensor, which is on these. You want to take that, put it down into the thing, make sure it's in there good. Take your needle nose pliers or whatever pliers you want to use. Make sure it's in there good. Give it a little tug or whatever you got to do. <laughs> I'm going to bend this one <laughs> a little better. Oh, shit. I think I just broke it. Nope, that's good. So that's what you're left with right there, which will plug directly into your mass airflow sensor. Okay, so now for the other side, how you want to do this is you got this little piece right here. You want to take that. You want to slide it right through there. And then you're going to strip the end, which I'll do real quick. So you want to strip the end real quick. Oops. Pull that just back through a little bit. It doesn't have to be all the way because you can pull it back through. Then you want to take this right here. Everything in this world. You want to pinch that real quick. You want to pinch farther up. And you got yourself that. And then you just slide that right on inside of there. And then bam, you got yourself a plug. Obviously push it in farther, but I have to do the other side real quick. So I'm going to finish it up and then I'm going to do the other side and I'm going to show you guys me hooking it right, up. Guys, so once you finish your plug, this is what you're left with. Right there, you can see the little metal connectors in there. And then you got your wires, which run down to two of these, which will plug directly in your mass airflow sensor. But what I want to show you real quick, because on here, you got this little clip. So you want to make sure she goes in the right way. But it should, I'm trying to do this with one hand, but I can't do it right now, but it should just slide right in there perfectly. And once you're going with that, you're good. You just got to hook it all up, and then you got to tune it in and make it squirt, which I'll show in another episode. But let me get everything hooked back up, and we'll go from there. All right, guys, so I got the sensor hooked up, and now you're going to be left with these two wires, which are going to run all the way across over to your mass airflow sensor. And on the 1.8, you're going to want to hook it up to not the first one. Make sure this is up top. So not the first one. Go into this one, and then this one. So you're left with two spaces over here. Now on the 1.6 is you go all the way to the left and I think it's three over. But now for on the 1.8 it's gonna be skip this one, go one over and then do the one right after. So you're gonna take your plug and they should, you just wanna stick it right. Gosh guys, this is so hard with one hand. All right, well I'll be right back. All right, so now I ran my wires over like I said, you go one over and then into that one and then the one right after for the one eight. And then this would be your sensor. I haven't hooked it up yet properly. And then you would tune it and make a squirt, which I want to make another video when I actually install my mega squirt because this isn't going to be for right now. Yeah, so I'm going to want to make another video of tuning it actually for that in mega squirt because mega squirt isn't hooked up right now. I just wanted to build it and get it set up. <coughs> So yeah, that was just like a quick little vid. And uh, basically on another video, which will be this week when we install MegaSquirt, I'll show you guys how to set it up for the IAT intake air temperature sensor or whatever you want to call it. And yeah, once again, just a quick little video. Thanks for watching the Garage Highways. If you have any, any comments, any questions or anything, just leave me a comment and I'll try to get back as quick as possible. But within this week, Mega Square is going to be hooked up, boost gauge is coming, uh, the manual boost controller, wideband and all that. So she's going to be running boost guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.